Hello YouTubers, I told you I was going to be back later after I got out of work and I was going to explain why I think the United States is uh, Mystery Babylon as mentioned in the Bible. Um, number one, as I mentioned in my last video, you have the uh, the two beasts of the sea, you know, you obviously you have Revelation 13 and then you have uh, the second one which is going to be like the Antichrist, but um, yeah, the first one basically I believe is the United States. It's the only superpower uh, currently and you know, the woman in the scarlet and you know, the woman with the cup just filled with filth and, and abominations of the earth, you know, I mean, if you think of it, we totally have become a place of filth. Um, I was watching this one person's uh, Christian video a while ago, just think in this country, you know, you get a, people get away, you know, heavy drinkers, you know, gamblers, you know, adulteries, fornicators, uh, rap, you know, Illuminati, um, all kinds of stuff you see on television, you know, uh, people, you know, disrespecting one another, people being judgmental, um, tyrants, you know, people like Bush, you know, breaking the Constitution, um, you just, you know, so many uh, evil and, and wicked things, the, uh, the rich taking advantage of the poor. I um, wonder why, you know, in uh, Revelation 18, you know, that one line where it says, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, uh, and uh, you will not receive any of her plagues. You know, I wonder why it says that. If you think of it, um, the, the biggest dr driving behind a lot of this stuff is just Hollywood and the mainstream media. I mean, look at the movies that are out there, you know, all they do anymore, and even in the news, they report stuff about murders, they promote stuff about killing, you know. When was the last time Britney Spears had this affair, Paris Hilton, Britney going through drug rehab, you know. It's just, I'm so sick and tired of this. They just don't know how to report anything right anymore to the American people. And they lie and they just like to deceive so many people. And uh, I believe the Illuminati and, and uh, the Skull and Bones and everything else is really uh, behind a lot of this. I mean... Two, uh, th uh, there's been a lot of signs too recently. I mean, uh, you have uh, uh, movies like you know Cloverfield. I was talking to my dad. You know, and I am legend. You know, one is about a virus in the city, and the other one is about how New York City is supposedly destroyed by aliens. You know, this movie Vantage Point uh, recently. You know, uh, about the president being assassinated. I mean, you know, their the ultimate goal of the NWO is they and and the, and the Antichrist in general is just you know world dominance and. Uh, world control and you think of it you're seeing it flow uh, right in front of our eyes uh there's this interesting site um a little bit ago that i visited uh it's called i go to it sometimes they have uh blogs and everything um www.satansrapture s-a-t-a-n-s r-a-p-t-u-r-e dot com there's a lot of good stuff but you know how i was telling you on my mark of the beast video last night that uh um, what was that, uh, thinking off my head here, um, oh yeah, the Mark of the Beast video last night that they want a, supposedly a national ID by May 12th of this year, 2008, but I guess the deadline has moved, don't I? Just think though, Maybos too has talked about in the Bible, I don't know exactly which passage off the top of my head, but, um, Maybos, you know, a lot of people think that is, uh, M-A stands for Makudimajad, and B-U-S, you know, stands for Bush, the first three initials of his name, meaning war with Iran, a lot of people think. And this Philadelphia code that Pastor Harry Chaplin has been talking about a lot um, on his site, Saints Rapture, makes sense to me. You know, I was thinking, I told my dad, I feel this, like, energy. I don't know what it is recently, and, you know, and you just that, like, Jesus is coming back soon. Because, I mean, you know, and he is, too. This stuff is real, and... Uh, um, I just think that possibly, I'm hoping and praying it doesn't happen, that sometime within maybe this summer or next summer that there could be a tech and that this Philadelphia code could possibly be uh, real. I know I'm trying to obey all the scriptures, but I mean, you know, wouldn't it just think, though, wouldn't it make sense, you know, a year an election is coming up, you know, the big CFR, they got so much control over each other and one of us, you know. If they actually tried to pull something off, like it's just like 9-11, you know, where they try to brainwash people even more. And just like Nazi Germany years ago, you know, people had to hand over their working papers and, and stuff. You know, I mean, that they make this national ID uh, mandatory and who knows what they would do after that, you know, say get an implant in your right hand for it. That's why I think that the rapture and God could come back in the twinkling of an eye any time and that it's important to be saved and pray that you're counted worthy at, at, at any every time because i would say i really believe we're living in the end of the day. there's just so much filth uh 
people judgmental, people not loving one another, you know, yeah, people are just so cold, like, you know, and, you know, families broken up and stuff, you know, you just, you know, you can't, like, you know, sit down and have a decent conversation without living in fear, and that's how the system enslaves people. I wonder why, you know, that passage where he says, come out of her people. Uh, basically, you know, God says don't partake in any of, have anything to do with these sins, because basically, it's brainwashing, and that's how the devil wants to buy everybody, so, uh, using through fear and, you know, and uh, scare tactics and stuff. So uh, that's kind of my take on Mystery Babylon. Um, there's more stuff that I, I want to talk about with it, but right now that's pretty much all that's on my mind. But it's uh, really important to be saved in these last days. And I pray for you, and I pray that you pray. Uh, love you. Bye.